Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one is entitled Fast Moving Planet X Object Moving Past the Sun. Now, on May 10th, 2018, a solid object with a trail behind it was seen in the Stereo A Core 2 image shown here. Here's the object. And the Stereo A coronagraph detects visible light and therefore the trail behind the object must be emitting light, which indicates that ionization must be involved in the production of this trail. As with comets, which draw ions and electrons to them and produce a comet's tail in coma or an atmosphere around the comet nucleus, the production of this trail indicates that this object is drawing matter in towards itself from the sun's corona and is therefore uh, drawing plasma from uh, the sun's corona. And that the process leads to photons being emitted from the trail. Now, even though the object has a light-emitting trail, like comets, the trail is very different from that of a comet, as it has a clearly defined edge, which we don't usually see with comets, and is also short in comparison with the size of the object. The trail is clearly short because its width is about the same at both ends. In other words, it, the width does not seem to decrease as we look further back from where the object is, which would be a requirement if it had been a long trail. Perspective would require that it seem to have a much shorter width. And this we can see from is illustrated here. So a very long object, if the trail had been very long, then the width of the trail would decrease quickly to a point. But a short object does not have its width decreasing by much. At one end, it's not much shorter than at the other end. So th this is why a, a train track that uh, goes far into the distance uh, perspective causes it to seem to decrease in width to a point in the distance. But shorter objects do not uh, decrease their width uh, to a point uh, because the length uh, means that they end shortly after they begin. So, um, in addition, uh, this furthest end seems to be partially obscured. So, in addition to being short, this further end is partially obscured by this dark cloud that seems to be a permanent feature at the sun. So this means that the, this end of the trail is just below the sun. And um, so this also means that the object has to be very close to the sun and so we can do a size comparison with the sun and this would mean that the, the object size in comparison with the sun and the sun size is indicated by this white circle this would mean this object is actually larger than the sun and the width of the trail is larger than the sun's diameter So uh, we seem to have an object in the score 2 image, uh, which is very close to the sun and seems to be larger than the sun. In addition, since the object's trail is not curved, it must be moving in a straight line or tangentially to the sun. This is not the trajectory a normal object is likely to follow so close to the sun. A normal object moves in a curved path, which makes the trail um, curved as well. So uh, at least it should move in a curved path as it approaches the sun, as it would be under the influence of gravity.
And you may look at the article um, entitled Newtonian Gravity Basic Concepts for more details on this. However, the evidence that the Planet X system of stellar cores has invaded the solar system is now overwhelming. And you may look at article 116 entitled Planet X Objects, Unbelievable Evidence and Size. Article 54, the Planet X system is here and is huge. And Article 244, entitled the Planet X system, Destroyer of Star Systems. In addition, it has become clear that these objects do not obey Newtonian gravity, as they are depleted in energy and electrons. And um, you may look at Article 210, entitled Stellar Core Gravity, Tidal, and G is Not Constant and Article 184 entitled Stellar Core Evolution for more details. Hence, the object seen in the image above can only be a member of the Planet X system of stellar cores and therefore a stellar core. Now the same object appears to have appeared once again in another stereo core to image this time from July 5, 2018. And we see it here, an object which is seems to be larger than the sun it may even be larger than uh, the last one and here is a similar trail that it is leaving behind itself and so this is obviously another stellar core in the sun's corona producing the same kind of trail drawing matter from the sun's corona and it may be another but similar object, maybe actually larger than the last one, or it may be the, the same one. Now, the fact that the object is only caught in one frame indicates that it is moving extremely fast. And since the timestamp on each frame is only 15 minutes apart, the object must be moving at a speed which allows it to move out of the sun's outer corona within 30 minutes. The sun's outer corona is 12 times the radius of the sun. The sun's radius is 695,700 kilometers or 432,300 miles and therefore the object has to be moving at a minimum speed of uh, 4,640 kilometers per second or 2,880 miles per second. Since a sun grazing comet, i.e. a comet going around the sun so that its closest distance to the center of the sun is the same as the sun's radius, would be moving according to Newton's gravitational law at a speed of only about 40 kilometers per second, this object is moving much, much faster than it would had it been under the influence of Newtonian gravity. This suggests it is under the influence of a stronger interaction. And this interaction is detailed in many articles uh, regarding the true nature of gravity. It's a combination of the true gravitational interaction, which can be repulsive as well as attractive, and the electrostatic interaction. And you may look at article 262 entitled Planet X, the Strong Force, and Newton Gravity. In conclusion, a stellar core or Planet X object are possibly two different stellar cores of similar size, but which seem to be larger than the Sun, appears in a stereo core to images from May and July of 2018. The objects seem to move at extremely high speeds within the Sun's outer corona and do not move according to what would be expected had they obeyed Newtonian gravitational law. These images therefore provide further evidence for the presence of the Planet X system of stellar cores in the Sun's corona. Here are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.